What about Missy Hyatt? Ugh. <laughs> really had to bring that up? I knew I'd find one. You really had to bring that up? I'm just trying to push buttons. Um, we, were, we were close years and years and years ago. Um, leading up to the whole Vixens thing. We were close. Like yeah. uh, She lived in Manhattan. Was I that her to, idea? Yeah. Okay. I used to go in and like spend a couple of days in Manhattan with her at her apartment. We used to go to dinner. We used to go shopping. We had a good time. Um, once the Vixens thing happened, she just was out of control. She had a debit card for the bank account that the Vixens came in and she was spending all the money. Mm. So none of us were getting paid. So it was just like, that's when everything started going south. And then I was still friends with her though, and I was over her apartment. And this is where I cut off my friendship with her. I was over her apartment staying for a couple of days, and she had a loft apartment. So her bed was up in a loft, and there was a futon, and I slept on the futon. So I'm asleep on the futon, and it's like four o'clock in the morning. And I wake up, and literally two feet next to my head, we're at her little kitchen table, it's like a tiny little table with two chairs, a real small apartment. She's sitting there with some girl I've never seen before, and they're smoking. Mm right next to my head while I'm asleep. I was like, what the fuck are you doing? And she was like, oh, just go back to sleep. Just about go back to sleep. I'm like, no. Go back to sleep. You're smoking <laughs> next to my head. Right. I packed my shit and I left. I got in my car and I drove home. I was like, that's it. And that's, that's when I cut ties with her because I'm like, I mean, you're, you, know, you know the term guilty by association? Right. If I stayed friends with her and people found out what she was getting into, because I think this is the first time she ever did it. But if people knew what she started to get into and I was still friends with her, I would have been guilty by association. Did she have to, did she talk you into doing that? Did you have reservations about doing the wrestling? The Vixens yeah. thing? Yeah, she was, she was pretty persuasive. But like I said, I, I showed boob, which, I mean, it's just boob. Who right. cares? And butt. It's just skin. It's just boob and butt and everything else was always covered. Right. You where, know, I always what, had some kind of a gimmick in front of me covering me. Right. Was there talk about doing more about, about evolving that into something else? Not or really, was it no. just the strictly the yeah, DVD just, stuff? Just pretty much what we did. Okay. But like I always had, you know, important stuff covered either by a snake or by a hat or by, you know what I mean? Right. I mean, and boobs are nothing. And like I go to topless beaches, who cares? Sure. Was yeah. there any fallout between you two, like even to this day? Um, no, another thing I did see, because we didn't talk for years, and she was bad-mouthing me, I don't know why, because she was making a lot of money off of me on Vixens, and she was spending it all. But she was and you never got me. any royalties from that? Like, when, when were you? No, it was just once it went under, it went under.